I pledge allegiance to the queers. Them or the, they? Uh, you would say they if you were saying if you were talking about me and you were like they are really awesome. My student pulled me aside to ask me if I was trans. I said yes, and almost immediately they said, So when I grow up, I can actually be a boy? And honestly, I'm just proud they could say it out loud, because that really takes a lot. Hey guys, it's Misha, and welcome back to my channel. So it's important for parents to know who they're leaving their children with for eight hours a day, because we're trusting teachers to teach children essential knowledge. We're getting activists instead of teachers, indoctrinating children into their leftist ideology, and of course talking about themselves during class time, specifically their gender identity. So when babies are born, the doctor looks at them and they make a guess about whether the baby is a boy or a girl. 18, I told my family and my friends that I'm really a boy, and it was like this huge weight had been lifted off of my shoulders, and I had the freedom to be who I truly am. Coming out as trans. I'm kind of not a guy and not a girl, like somewhere in between. Oh, so you're kind of a boy and you're kind of a girl? Kind of, yeah. yeah. Me too, that's me. Okay, right on. You have choices in this world to be all sorts of different things. I'm actually trans. It's a teaching job. I, as a non-binary being, I don't know what to pick. I, and then what do they do when they ask me if I'm a boy or a girl? I'm not. <laughs> I don't know. It's fun when it's young kids, too. It's young kids. My class is going to be four-year-olds. You know the quote, those who can do and those who can't teach? These teachers have no idea how to feel comfortable with their sexual identity or gender identity without external validation, yet they feel qualified to be teaching this to students. Plus, if they became teachers for the right reasons, meaning they were passionate about a certain subject and providing quality learning, then they wouldn't have time to teach them about gender ideology. Because that on its own requires an insane amount of mental gymnastics just to try and attempt to understand it, but at the end of the day, none of it does make any sense. There are now non-binary teachers requiring students to call them mix instead of Mrs. or Mr. because grammar doesn't matter. And I'm non-binary. You can call me mix, so I go by all pronouns. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Binary elementary school teachers, so here's how I talk to my students about pronouns. Hi, my name is Mix K. See, I'm not a Mr. or a Miss, so I go by mix because that's what makes me happy. There are influencers who feel that they need to teach children about their gender identity. Jeffrey Marsh, for example. Hi, kids. There is no such thing as a boy or a girl. Another great way to indoctrinate children is through cartoons, as we recently saw with the Proud family. In general, though, we have seen Disney become infected with this wokeism. They used to make great family-friendly movies, right? Friendship and adventure, comedy. But now LGBTQ has to be involved in one way or another. And of course, talking about white supremacy. When I was in school, teachers avoided talking about their own personal political beliefs at all costs because, first of all, it had nothing to do with the material being taught. And second of all, they wouldn't want to upset parents because that's not their job. Parents aren't sending their children to school to talk about the teacher's gender identity or political affiliation. Now we have teachers exposing themselves and making videos on TikTok, for example, talking about how they're coming out to students and then students are coming out to them. And then they're keeping that information from the parents. Rather lose my job than out one of my students to their families. Never tell parents, period. Even if someone told me I couldn't do that and I couldn't call them whatever they want or the pronouns they want without parent permission, I would still do it. <laughs> they don't care about the parental rights at all, but if your child is questioning their gender identity, for example, then the teacher thinks that they have the right to keep that information from the parent. That's an issue, especially since that could mean that the child is suffering from a mental disorder, gender dysphoria, if they're talking about not feeling comfortable with their gender identity. But apparently the relationship between the child and the teacher is much closer, so they have a right to know that Sally is actually Sam for eight hours a day, but the parents don't have to be informed. Plus, these teachers obviously have personal issues. I mean, if they're going on camera crying about how a child misgendered them, there's something going on. They're not fit to teach children. In one of my classes that's homophobic, transphobic, sexist, um, purposefully misgenders me. I went to the counselors today. Well, some religions, you know, they don't have to do that because some religions don't agree with that. So they don't have to respect that. That she doesn't agree with who I am or my existence. So that's fun. Um, and I hope she has the day she deserves. 
Also, they only seem to care about covering their entire classroom, every inch, with an LGBTQ flag. And a lot of people will say, no, it's just the rainbow. Kids are attracted to the colorful rainbow. That's why we put it up. But you cannot tell me that the teacher is putting up this only because it's aesthetically pleasing, which it's not, by the way. They made it ugly with the whole brown triangle. And second of all, they are discussing the meaning behind the flag. We have proof of that. And with these flags, by the way, children cannot understand the meaning behind the flags without going into a detailed discussion about sex, if you're talking about sexuality. Gender dysphoria if talking about gender identity. I got these flags from Target as well as the inclusive pride flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You know my pronouns are they them. You know that you go by or I go by teacher Roby. First and foremost, what are my pronouns? They, them. So they all know my pronouns. It's they, them. It's quite simple. And then um, the next question was, do y'all respect those pronouns? Yes. Why is she having this conversation? Plus, they sound like robots. Like someone's holding them at gunpoint to say, yes, we respect you. They, them. Totally makes sense. And of course, these teachers invite other narcissists for like drag story hour, for example. So there's another opportunity to discuss sex with toddlers. Not to mention all the reading material being assigned to kids now. Butler says her daughter checked this book out today at Edsel Ford High School. It's titled Flamer. It depicts sexually explicit acts between young boys, some with graphic descriptions. Seventh grade classroom at Collinswood Middle School. It's an ounce of gay sex starting at page 201. Perhaps the most important skill you will master as a gay or bi man is a timeless classic, the hand Good news is you can practice it on yourself. And apparently it's the teacher's job to turn the kids against the parents. I don't care what y'all think. Trump sucks. Most of y'all parents are dumber than you. I'm gonna say that out loud. I don't understand why the gay teachers have to discuss their sexuality. The most that they would say was, oh yeah, I went on vacation with my husband or with my wife and leave it at that. Why do you have to have detailed conversations about your sexuality? Also, I don't believe that you can convert someone from gay to straight or from straight to gay or give someone gender dysphoria, but you can't unnecessarily confuse children by telling them that there are 5,000 genders and 5,000 sexualities instead of teaching them what you are being paid to teach them. All these teachers don't seem to care about improving our scores in math or science, for example, since we rank very low compared to foreign countries. In general, who cares that the US is lagging behind other countries in terms of academic achievements, right? At least we can say that we have more genders and more sexualities because that's what matters. But what will we call you as a non-binary parent? I told them the word that I created was POMA, the mix of pops and mom. The issue is with the ignorance of adults that refuse to listen. The topic of gender and genitals came up. One of our students plainly looked up and said, well, I'm a girl today, but I know that teacher Ko isn't. No. They're envy. I think we're having this problem because a lot of these teachers are young and they went through these universities that are indoctrinating students. So then of course the teachers will do the same thing and then constantly talk about transgenderism, white privilege, etc. And that's all for today's video, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts on this, so make sure you comment them below. Also remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.